This is Ken Loomer, and I will be showcasing both versions of the Buddy Rich Slingerland drum sets that they made for Buddy. On the picture that you see on the left was uh, made in 1968, and that version was in place until 1975. The picture on the right is the version that Slingerland made in 1976 to 1978 and I have right here in my living room both versions set up for the first time so let's take a close look at each versions and the differences between each so here we go with version number one this is the Buddy Rich set that they made for him when Buddy rejoined Slingelin in January of 1968 and I bought this set in 1971 so this is a 71 version of the exact same set that Buddy played when he rejoined Slingerland back in 1968 and let's do a fast pan over here to the second version this is the version of the 1976 Buddy Rich model that Slingland made. And let me back up so you can see the full drum set right here. And I bought this set in 1977. So let's go over the differences. First, for version number one, this particular set, of course, has all the Buddy size drums you have the bass drum 14 by 24 and of course it was the first year that they came out with the double spurs and I'll give you a good close-up of that and of course you have your 9 by 13 tom and of course version number one had the buddy rich artist model snare drum five and a half by 14 and this was an eight lug snare and of course you gotta have the two floor toms and of course these were 16 by 16 and it had to have the famous marine pearl finish And of course, you gotta have the cymbal arm for the ride cymbal, cymbal arm for the splash, and then Slingland made at that time the Settlematic Tom holder. And now let's go over the differences between this version. And of course, this one first came out in 1968, and the second version over here, which came out in 1976. So the first thing you have to say is how they made the drums. This particular model back in 1968, they used a three-ply shell with solid maple reinforcement rims and the rims at the time were chrome covered brass for version number one and over here as you can see on the hardware the Slingland hardware version one had the small base on the cymbal stands and then they use the vice grip handles over here. As you can see those big handles, the vice grip handles. And the 68 model use the black and gold silver sticker right over here. As you can see that. It's black and the letters were in gold.
Now I'm lucky I took super great care of these sets. So they look absolutely brand new like they just came out of the box. And another difference was the first version of the hi-hat stand, they call the Dynamo hi-hat stand. It had a blue base on it. As you can see right here. And on this version, which is very rare, I mean, I think I could show it better on this one. The cymbal stand had no tilter because Buddy liked his cymbals completely flat. So this first version, which was a special order, no tilter. And of course, Buddy liked the Zildjian cymbal snaps for each of the stands. As you can see, and of course, you got to have the drum throne. So, this is version one, which Slingerland made from 1968 to 1975. Then, Slingerland went to version two. Let's go to version 2 over here of the Slingerland Buddy Rich drum set. And of course, the first thing that you can see is the cymbal stand. Starting in 1976, they went to a wider base. And here is the 68 version, smaller base. And you can see the sticker back then was black with gold lettering. Here they started using, I'll be able to show it close up. They started using the red with silver. And another thing you can notice is the way they use the the handles are completely different. While the first version had the vice grip, this one had the smaller with the screws tightening up for the stands. But they still use the vice grip on the first part of the cymbal stand. Then he went to the screw part. And then of course this version had the tilter. And another difference, on the, it's the same thing with the hi-hat stand. This part's different. And on the, they have the vice grip on the original Dynamo hi-hat stand. As you can see, this one had the blue base, and this part is now they have black. Same with the uh, rocket snare drum stand. As you can see, it has the red and silver sticker on it. And now, see this particular drum set I got in 1977, and for the first time they used a five-ply shell as opposed to this one we used the three-ply shell with the rock maple reinforcement hoops. This one is just a five-ply shell and they started doing that in 1977 and of course it still has the Famous Settlematic Tom Holder, and of course the L arms for the splash, the L arm for the ride cymbal. And as far as the hoops, they went away with the uh, chrome over brass, and now it's just steel. 
It's a pretty thick steel, and they call it the stick saver hoop. And another major difference between the two versions, this one came with the Buddy Rich Artist model, which had the Zoomatic strainer on it and the stick saver hoops, 8 ply, 5.5 by 14. Slingland made for the second version of the Buddy Rich kit a brand new snare drum. And they called this the Buddy Rich TDR, which stands for Total Dynamic Response Snare Drum for Buddy. Five and a half by 14, but this time with 10 lugs. And this one came with the stick chopper hoops, the straight edge hoops, and a newly redesigned snare strainer, the TDR snare strainer, as you can see right here. And of course, this also has the five ply shell with Slingland made. First made back in 1976. And this is the exact same set as you see in the picture. There's the Dynamo hi-hat stand, Rocket snare stand, the Slingling Tempo King pedal, of course, you got your two floor tom toms. You got your nine by thirteen tom, and this particular set, which is really rare, this one I bought with the fourteen by twenty six inch bass drum, and. If you want to hear both of these drums, I have used both of these Buddy Rich Slingling drum kits with my big band. So I have lots of videos of me playing these drums so you'll be able to hear them live in concert. And some of the videos I even make sure so you know what drum set I was playing. So if you want to see me play like the 26 inch bass drum, I posted that, that on YouTube and you'll be able to hear these drums and the same with this with the 24 inch bass drum and like I said both of these drum sets are in near mint condition this is a part of drum history Slingland drums were at the time in 1968, the world's largest manufacturer of drums. So here we go with the version number one, which came out in 1968 to 75. And version number two, which first came out in 1976. Then starting in 1977, they went to an all five ply shell and Slingland at the time during this period were making incredible drums and of course these drum sets are extremely rare to find today they just don't make these kind of sets anymore and the sound of these for what I play are absolutely incredible So, those are the two versions that Slingland made when Buddy Rich was an endorser of Slingland from January 1968 to April of 1978. And that was his second time through Slingland. Of course, he played Slingland in the 30s and 40s. Then he rejoined them again in 1968. Then, on the last five years of his career, he went back to playing a Slingland Radio King set from the 40s. 
even though Buddy played a lot of different brand of drums, I'm sure most people will remember him playing Slingland since that was the set he played the most during his career. So here we go with version number one. And I already told you the differences. Like I said, these sets are in near mint condition and they're extremely hard to find today. And these drums were a part of drum history. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of drum history from the great maker of Slingland Drums and the two versions of the Buddy Rich model that they made during the late 60s to the late 70s. And let me go back to the, the two catalogs. And this is how the catalog was printed out. So you can be able to see the two versions which I have right here in my house set up for the first time. So I hope you enjoyed this showcase. And like I said, if you want to hear these drums in actual use, I have lots of videos of my big band playing both versions of these fantastic drum kits. So I hope you enjoyed this showcase, and until next time, happy drumming.